We have a, um, a group of stations to do today to sort of introduce you to tennis. Does anyone, has anyone ever played tennis? Raise your hand if you have. Okay, terrific. That's awesome. All right, so for those of you who have played tennis, you obviously know this is a racket. I'm going to show you really quick. You take the hand that you write with, your dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, you're going to grab the racket and kind of pretend like you're shaking hands with it. This is called your forehand, okay? And that's one of the strokes we're going to use today a little bit in our stations. We're in a gym. There's a lot of you. So one of the things we have to be really careful about is safety. Because if you're swinging a racket, what can happen if I'm next to someone, I might hit them by mistake. So while you're working at your station, if your ball, you lose your ball or your beanbag, you're going to put your racket on the ground and go get your ball and come back, okay? And if you're standing there because we're giving instructions, you can hug your racket as well. That way it keeps everything nice and safe while you're here in the gym, okay? So I'm going to show you very quickly the stations that we have for you guys today. And this one, can you help me? I'll give you this racket. You're going to have a partner. And we're going to toss the beanbag back and forth to each other. So you're going to hold your racket out like that. And I'm going to toss the beanbag to you. And then you're going to toss it back to me. Great job. So we're going to do that a few times. And if we haven't dropped the beanbag on the floor, we're going to back up a step and make it a little bit harder. OK? Great job. That was almost like a pancake flip. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to try to count how many times you do your beanbags back and forth and see how many you get before you rotate your station. OK, thank you for your help. The next station we're going to work at is call, it's a, we're working on bungee jumps and ball balance. So a bungee jump is you hold your racket. I'm left handed, so I, I have my racket in my left hand. You're going to let it, you're going to hold the ball on the racket, let it bounce, pick it back up again, let it bounce, pick it back up again. You can also let the ball balance on your racket. This is called around the world. I'm not that good at it. And you can also walk up and back with the ball on your racket so it doesn't fall off. You can add in some lunges. You can do jumping jacks. You can add whatever you like to the station. The next station. Can you two folks please come help me? We're going to do something called the racket circle. We're all going to have a racket. You're going to put your index finger, just your index finger, this one, yep. You put your index finger on, and I'm going to put mine on. So what's your name? Maria. Maria, and yours? Zachary. OK. So Maria and Zachary, we're going to count to three. When we count to three, we're going to let go of our rackets and get our partner's racket. So Maria, I'm going to move and get your racket. You're going to move and get Zachary. Zachary, you're going to get mine, OK? And we're going to try not to let them drop. Are we ready? One, two, three. Oh, good effort. So one of the things in tennis is you move your feet. So we'll do it one more time. And Zachary, when you're coming for my racket, take a step forward. And that way you'll be able to get it. Ready? One, two, three. Good effort. OK, so that's the racket quickness challenge. Um, if it's easy and you haven't dropped your racket to make it harder, you back up a step. Yeah. OK, thanks, guys. You can put your rackets up. Thank you for helping. The next station is called the ice cream cone. And I'm going to ask you if you could help me. Can you stand over there? So partners, one of the things with tennis, there's another stroke in tennis or you start the game in tennis with serving. And when you serve, you toss the ball up in the air in front of you. So we're going to practice sort of tossing it up and catching it in our ice cream cone. We can also work with a partner. So I can toss the ball to you, and you can catch it in your ice cream cone. Do you want to try? OK, so hold your ice cream cone up so you can catch it. Oh, that wasn't a very good toss. I'll hand toss it to you. Ready? Oh, my bad. Hold on there, little ball. OK, ready? Hold your cone up. One, two, three. Good job. So we can play. That's how we can use the station. You can do it individually, tossing, tossing it up and catching it or you can toss it to a partner. 
Thank you for your help. Grab my racket. Okay, for this station, it's called Walk the Dog. We don't have a real dog to walk, but we have a tennis ball. And this is where you can use your forehand, or the other stroke is called the backhand. So your forehand, you're going to hit forward this way, across your body, and your backhand, you're going this way across your body. You're not really going to hit the ball that hard. All we're doing here in this station is walking your dog around the cone and back again. And now I'll try to use my right-handed backhand to get around the cones. And if you're with a group of people, you can make it a team thing. Each team gets down and back. The one who gets back first wins. This station is called the ball drop and ball toss. So can you help me? Okay. You stand over here and you're going to hold the balls up like this, okay? So hold them up pretty high. You have to be nice because I'm old, all right? So when we count to three, you're going to decide which ball you're going to drop, and I'm going to try to come get it on one, possibly two bounces, hopefully just one, okay? So you count to three. Got it. Okay, now if we want to get a little tricky, I turn around and you say my name. I'm Jane, okay? Say my name. And then I turn around and then you drop one, okay? And to make it harder, we kind of separate the distance between each other, okay? The other thing we can work with is, again, when you're serving, you want to toss the ball up in front of you. We didn't do this in the last class, but we can do it in this one if you want to. Toss it up. See how many times you can clap without it getting too far away from you, okay? So that's the ball toss and ball drop. On this one, we're going to use a partner. Would you help me? Each of us is going to have a racket. So which hand do you write with? This one? Okay, so you're, that's good. You, you can shake hands with your racket. That's your forehand, okay? So we're going to roll the ball to each other. So you put your racket down on the ground like this, and you're going to roll the ball. If you're going to do a forehand, you're going to do it that way, okay? Is that right? Does that feel comfy? Here, turn it this way. Hold on to it, like shake its hand. Okay, that's a little big. We'll get a smaller one for you. Okay, so put it down on the ground, and you're going to roll the ball to me. And I'm going to stop it, and I'm going to roll the ball to you, and you stop it like I did. That's called a splat, okay? There you go. Nice. Roll it back. Splat. So we're going to work on that while we're at the station. Don't forget to splat your ball. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. The next station is really for cardio because in tennis, do you stand still to hit the ball? No, you have to move your feet, right? So part of that is you're going to have a team with you. So if I'm the first one on my team, I'm going to take this ball, I'm going to run it up here, I'm going to go back and get the next ball, run it up here, back and get the next ball, run it up here, and then I'm done and I wait for my partners. They're going to come up here, get the ball, go back down there and put it down there. And when the team is done, you've won. And I'm out of breath because I haven't exercised today. Okay, the next station is also involving passing the ball. And we'll see how you feel. We may be able to lightly tap the ball back and forth to each other. Will you be my partner? You stand up there. All, like in between the cones behind you. Great. So we're going to roll the ball like we did up at the other station. Down on the ground. You're going to hold your racket like you're shaking hands. Perfect. Drop it down here. And I'm going to roll it to you. You catch it, splat it, and roll it back to me. Perfect. Great. And we're going to try to keep it in the cones. Last time I didn't do such a good job. I didn't get in the cones. But I did this time, so that's good. One more. 
Great. The other thing you can do at this station is I can bounce. Why don't you throw the ball to me with your hands and let it bounce, and I'll get my racket. So toss it up in the air and let it bounce. I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to tap it back softly. That didn't work so well, but we'll try again. Good. And then you can catch it against your racket and try to tap it back to me. Okay. So you can modify that station as well. Thank you very much. And then our last station is called the lobster catch. And Coach Colin, can you help me with this one? So Coach Colin is a certified teaching professional. He teaches people how to play the game of tennis. So when you're on a real tennis court, you can learn a lot about the game from someone like Coach Colin. But right now, since we're in the gym, we're working on the lobster catch. So Coach Colin is the lobster. Why? Because his rackets are his two claws. And I'm going to toss him the ball, and he's going to catch it. Now note, I threw the ball with my underhand like I'm going to serve in tennis. Baseball doesn't always throw underhand. They throw like that, correct? Tennis, when you go to serve, you want to toss the ball up like this. There we go. So you can let it bounce, or you can catch it without it bouncing when you're a little closer to the net, because this is called a volley. When you get up to the net, you don't let it bounce, you catch it. So you're going to do that three times, and then we would switch. So then I would be the lobster, and Coach Colin would be the tosser. And that's the lobster catch. Anybody have any questions? Yes, ma'am?